Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review. This one um, is by Odell Brewing Company and it's called Mountain Standard IPA. That's what the label looks like. Okay. Um, I got this in a six pack of Total Wine and More for like uh, 12 something or 13 bucks out the door. It comes in at six and a half. 6.5% alcohol by volume and uh, this thing is about well, it gives you a best by date 1 16 21 so who knows how old. it's probably like less than two months old um, let's see here it says um, this is mountain standard a tribute to our backyard and the Rocky Mountain lifestyle Hand-selected modern American hop varieties build layers of complex hop flavors with juicy tropical notes and bold, vibrant aromas. Okay. Um, Fort Collins, Colorado. I've never had this before, never seen it before, nothing. So uh, let's get it crack open and see what we've got here. Definitely looks like a West Coast style. is pretty cold so we'll uh, get that off there we have a monster frothy creamy silky a little bit bouncy head there bunch of bubbles popping open in the middle We have a somewhat hazy, kind of a yellowy color. As you can see. No way you can see through it really. It's pretty hazy, but you can see a little bit. Okay. Really um, frothy, very frothy. Slightly hazy there. Yep. All right. Really thick head. All right, let's get an aroma on this puppy. Yeah, right up front, I'm getting some like citrusy hop notes. Like a little lemon zest in there. Getting a little, um, kind of a little sweet bready note. A little bit of pine. Look at that. Really nice, uh, Head retention lacing there. All 
All right, one second. Okay, I'm back. I just had to let it warm up a little bit. It was a little too cold. I wasn't getting much on the aromas, so let's try this again. Yeah, it's just getting like a, kind of a general kind of sort of tropical kind of notes. Nothing super defined, but you can tell the hops are there. And it's kind of, you know, fruity, juicy a little bit. I guess I'm getting maybe some mango. A little lemon zest. Maybe a touch of pine. Definitely, get, I'm getting like a bubble gum note now. And that kind of sweet maltiness coming through. Pretty faint on the aroma though, so um, let's get a hit. Look at that lacing on the glass. Cheers. Hmm. Pretty tasty. Okay. I guess I'm getting a little bit of um touch of um, maybe guava or something like that maybe orange peel or just a touch though it's not bad not bad at all okay all right let's see if we can pick up anything else here That was funny the way I drank that. Like a it's pretty tasty though. Um, wasn't super expensive. It's pretty, pretty well priced at like under thirteen bucks for six, twelve ounce cans. I mean, it's not like blowing me away or nothing. Um, but it's a, it's definitely a decent IPA. I mean, it's only like what six and a half percent, so you know it. It's a little bit on the lighter side, but it definitely has a good flavor for a six and a half percenter. Pretty smooth mouthfeel too. Rip it. Maybe a little bit of pineapple. Yeah, slightly. A pretty good malt backbone though for six and a half percenter. It's not super dank. Um, it's pretty well balanced. There's obviously there's no booziness. It's pretty light, so wouldn't expect that. But uh, it's a pretty well constructed beer, I must say. Uh, this would be good to session with for sure. We'll swell it one more time, we'll wrap it up. I'm getting some kind of peel. It might it's either grapefruit or orange, it's hard to tell. But um it's pretty tasty. Um really hard to really define exactly what I'm tasting, but that's the best way I can do it. Uh it's got a medium mouth feel. Uh Pretty, pretty good IPA um, so that's pretty much what I got on this puppy on a scale of one to five stars two and a half PNC just average hmm I'll give this one a 3.9 it's pretty damn good yeah I mean the the notes that I'm picking up are not like there they're just it's all kind of there you know but it's pretty good, well-constructed beer. I like it. Yeah, pretty good. I could drink a few of these, no problem, and uh, be pretty happy. All right, so 3.9 it is. That's my story. I'll stick with that. I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video, the description section. Please like and subscribe. I'd much appreciate that. I'll give this one a horns up. 
All right, it's 3.9 it is, and uh, don't forget to sub and uh, hit the like button, and we'll check you later. See ya.